Bullets were flying in broad daylight yesterday around 2.30. A pregnant woman and a man were shot at Amber Woods' apartments. Today, police say the woman's injuries are not life-threatening, but the man is in critical condition. Already this year, seven people have been murdered on the Far East Side. It's disturbing because other, they could be doing something other than uh, uh, having conflict. Uh, it's disturbing because we're not doing stuff fast enough to pull the community together to give alternative for conflict and to uh, provide information for job training and job placement for young people. Recycle Force is doing some of that job training. Jamal Morris got out of prison last November. He served a four-year sentence for firearms violations. He says that criminal behavior is behind him. I could have chose to go back to the streets and I got up, but that ain't where I want to keep putting the stress on my family and me in about the penitentiary because that ain't the life I want. He is now disassembling electronics, learning to be a forklift operator, and eventually be an entrepreneur. Back at Amber Woods, 20-year-old Jawan Young is enjoying the good weather with his one-year-old nephew. He has a job and is saving money for college. How does he avoid the gun violence? By having a strong, you know, foundation, family, friends, and just there supporting me. That's you, how I do it. And you're going to stay away from the violence? Uh, yes, most definitely. Here along Midhoffer, there is a memorial for a prior fatal shooting. It is good to remember those that we have lost. It will be better if we had a little bit more prevention. Derek Thomas, RTV6.